broken my heart so many times I stopped keeping track of water. What are we doing? Yeah, well, well, we're so, just, you know, for us on TV Tuesdays live from there, we're going to just, you know, we're going to go live just prior to the dinner. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll have, a, we'll, you'll have some guests on. I'll be throwing stuff at you from off on the side and see if you can keep your focus. There you go. And then, uh, uh, but then on Wednesday, we're actually doing a panel right. where we're going to talk about how social media uh, can really reduce your far carbon footprint. Mm -hmm. You know, so as a company, I mean, with Taste Live, we do remote tastings with, with uh, uh, vintners in Argentina and bloggers all over the United States. Mm -hmm. And we're actually going to have some numbers showing uh, if we had flown in, in some of the recent events that we've done, mm -hmm. flown in winemakers, flown in bloggers everywhere, stayed two days at the Hyatt, what that carbon footprint would be versus doing something like this. And the cost. Oh, my God. And the cost. I mean, and, you know, yeah. Wow. So it's amazing. And, of course, Scott, on Wednesday, you're going to be on that panel. <laughs> That's right. And he's going to talk about how TV Tuesday has worked uh, for you as a company and outreach and, and being able to talk to your your fans and your club members and uh, and do it in a, in a really cost-effective and green way. Yeah, yeah, because it's, it's pretty basic. We do the same thing, you know. Uh, we, we, we use the same equipment. We don't go through any other uh, product. It's just... Yeah, we direct connection. Baby. I know. And then you got Andrew behind the camera here. We yep. got this isn't a big movie too. And usually uh, Mike uh, Westernberger's over here, but he didn't show up today for me. So Michael, I hope you're listening. <laughs> That's right. Well, he'll probably funnel questions uh, through Colin. Colin's kind of she's filling in. Uh, so if she's got a, any questions, she can shout them out, and then we'll answer them. You know. As we, Oh, were we drinking tonight? Well, oh, that's a good, yeah, let's that's a get good, to the good yeah, stuff. Yeah, let's get to the good stuff. Well, tonight we're going <laughs> to we're gonna taste uh, Pinot Noir. We have a new tasting menu, uh, so we're going to go through uh, James uh, Pinot Noir. We're going to go through uh, Bono's San Giacomo Vineyard Pinot. Uh, we're going to go through um, T.R. Elliott's Three Plumes, Ted's uh, gold medal winning uh, Pinot, where he made he only made like six barrels of this wine. It's mm. crazy. And then uh, Dunaz, a state Pinot Noir from their Russian River Estate in Sebastopol. So let's let's start with uh, James Family Cellars. This is uh, Sonoma Coast fruit. All right. It comes from just south of our location. Those of you tuning in from other parts of the country, we are located here in the tasting room. We're located about 55 miles north of the Golden Gate Bridge along the 101 corridor and about six miles south of our location off the 101 is a, is a vineyard that hangs right on the side of the freeway. Well, that's Gallo's property, and right behind that is James's property. Ah. And so that's Sonoma Coast fruit. Um, retail price on that is 35 bucks. And you gotta love Sonoma County, because where else do vineyards hang off the freeway? Yeah, right. right? Yeah, they hang off the freeway here all the time. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So the question is um, from Dan from Iowa. Dan, how you doing, man? Um, so the Three Sticks uh, event is November 17th, and nope, we're going right. to do it here. It's going to be uh, so TV Wednesday. how that works. It's going to be TV Wednesday. Yeah, here. TV Wednesday. <laughs> well, it's very cool. Our own Sonoma County uh, Ziggy the Wine Gal, and I don't know if, uh, you know if there's fans watching right now who know Ziggy. Uh, she's a journalist, a wine judge, and she has her shows on Wine Country Radio. Uh...